Hey you guys, so I'm coming to you live but on delay from the Hollywood Bowl. And this is my favorite escalator portion of the Hollywood Bowl and this is my favorite vantage point of the Hollywood Bowl because it makes it feel like you're in a forest yet you're in the midst of the big bad city. Anyway, um, oh yeah, and this is really cool too. That's where the searchlight comes up and goes up all the way over the bowl. Like two lightsabers, it's so cool. And you guys can probably hear the um, classical music concert playing. But anyway, it's kind of a creepy story that my friend told me tonight. We were in a very populated area and this thing happened to my friend, populated area being the Hollywood Bowl, near the Hollywood Hills, those are the hills. And so, I'm just curious if this has ever happened to any of you guys before. I told a couple of my other weird, creepy, cyber AI algorithm stories as well. And I know that on my local radio station this morning, and I wished I'd been able to listen to it better, but they were talking about like Apple phones and how they listen, but it's not just for national security type stuff. So. Anyway, it's weird. I mean, it's just something to be mindful of. And obviously, I know it's not about the Mandela effect, but it's still pretty spooky like the Mandela effect, um, possibly even spookier. And it also t kind of reminds me of how cyber reality affects objective reality and vice versa. Actually, one of my friends wrote a play about that. It's really good. I'm trying to get it submitted to my theater company. Actually, I already did. I'm trying to get that up for production. And the weirdest thing was, was, I swear to God, I just saw a guy walking up that way. Whoops. Not that guy. <laughs> Who looked like Isaac Cappy walked past me. It was so weird. I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it wasn't Isaac Cappy, but it was really weird because he looked so much like him from what I could see. But anyway... If he is still around, or his clone is still around, he is at a classical music concert at the Hollywood Bowl tonight. Anyway, um, that's about all. And on to the main crux of the video. Peace out. Great clouds over the bowl. Oh, it's already on. For a night of cyber creepiness. Square. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Creepy AI Facebook story. My best friend, we're at the Hollywood Bowl tonight, by the way, in case you couldn't tell, and we're seeing a concert. And she was waiting for her um, sister-in-law and sister's sister-in-law's cousin. <laughs> her sister-in-law's cousin. What would that make? What would that make? Cousin-in-law. Cousin-in-law. So we were waiting. She was waiting for them. And then say what happened. This is so weird. So I'm walking up to the bowl. Uh-huh. Video her. So we can really Oh no no no. We're doing her private. We're doing her privacy. We always we I, not. It has to stay anonymous because she wants that. So them. I am yeah. walking up the hill. Uh -huh. And I am talking to a woman who <laughs> is telling me about how she is on a second. She's going to a second like date a, with a, a guy that bought tickets to the bowl. Mm -hmm. And but she's chatting with me like here and there about how isn't it great that it's not that crowded and it's going to be classical music. And he got her free bowl tickets and there's a Captain Steubing director and, and a Bernie stuff. Sanders first so violinist. <laughs> and then as I get to the top of the hill, she and I part ways uh, yeah. and I pull out my phone. And when I look at my phone, it looks like someone has called me so I look at it a little bit closer and it is basically a Facebook um, friend notification asking me if I would like it's making a friend suggestion asking if I would like to friend this person and it names the person and it shows a picture uh-huh and it first so I look at it and thinking, wasn't it taking why up did it suggest that did I bump something on my phone wasn't I it look. taking up your whole phone like yeah. wasn't it just it was on? the whole screen had you ever seen a friend suggestion like taking up your whole screen like that because I don't remember them doing no, that. No, I guess not. But that it sounded up, weird. It full screen. Yeah. So I look at it thinking that, oh, maybe she called, this person called me or something. Oh, It weird. has her full name. Uh -huh. It has her profile highlights, like where she went to school and this kind of oh, stuff. Oh, my God. And then I look at the picture and I realize, oh, my gosh, that's the woman I was just talking to. I didn't ask it to find her. I didn't, she didn't mention her name or anything. I think it voice recognized her and gave me her information and asked me if I wanted to friend her because apparently we have one friend in in common. 
Jeez. So that is so we creepy. Found her and identified her from her voice in my purse. My phone was in my purse. I was not. I had not turned it on Facebook. I had not asked Facebook to find anything. Mm-hmm. I had not asked Google to find anything. Yeah. No. It just completely. Yeah. This woman just her voice right. chatting with me. Yeah. It was in my purse. That is so weird. Like I've never seen a friend suggestion like that. Although, I mean, the closest it that suggested this friend, this woman, me chatting with a stranger. And you'd never she seen was a stranger. And you'd never seen her picture before. No. no. She's a stranger. Mm-hmm. And you'd never had a friend suggestion like that. No. Before. no. She's a stranger. Oh, look at that cute little cloud on the screen. That's so funny. But it's cool here tonight because, but you said to her, you go, because you're the best person to talk to, like, as a stranger, like, for everybody to tell you their life story because you had the best we had suggestion. Good, we had a good yeah. conversation. I mean, she was lovely, but the point is that I, I yeah. was not thinking that my phone conversation was being recorded. Yeah. <laughs> Or that anybody was trying to voice identify. Yeah. I mean, well, what it's a kind of phone? Of privacy. What kind of phone do you have? I have a Google Pixel. <laughs> so it's not because I heard the story on Apple, and I wish I would have listened no, it's not to it. An Apple phone. I wish I would have listened to it better because they're saying the Apple phone is like listening to people's conversations for other things now. I think Google and everybody else is listening to your conversations oh, yeah. all the time. Facebook is listening all the time. Uh-huh. All of them are listening all the time. Yeah, it's just weird. Well, that was also too like my friends were discussing this thing. Um, I don't know what it was. They were discussing a topic and all of a sudden they started experiencing all these ads yeah. for the topic yeah. as if it was listening. The closest thing that ever happened to me, knock on wood, was when I was looking for hotels in Vegas okay, yeah. and then I started getting all these Luxor ads on the side yeah, of my email. Sure. But you know what the weirdest one was? You know what the weirdest one was? I started getting Sally ad for Sally Fields that she had died. Yes, yes, you mentioned that. What was that? Did you get those? No, but you mentioned it. I yeah, heard. it was so weird. And it wasn't even an ad for anything. Yeah. It was just remembering Sally she Fields. She had a big death hoax, yes, that was awesome. I think. That's so weird. Yeah. Very, very weird. But she's a Mandela effect because some people think she's Fields and some people think she's Fields. And yeah. I was confused when I heard about it, too. I was like, wait, is it Fields or Fields in the night? I remembered it was field, but you know, yeah. it's still weird because you can see like it yeah. both ways. So. But I feel sorry for this woman, and she was just so yeah. conversational and kind. Right. And meanwhile, Facebook is voice identifying her, giving me yeah. her phone profile, all of her personal information, asking me to friend her. Oh my gosh. Just awful. That's just so creepy. Awful. Well, you know, there's a website. Massage slot. Sorry. Oh, I forget. <laughs> okay, cool. Has the best. Best ASMR voice? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Massage Sloth has the best ASMR voice. Also, Dr. Eric Berg. It's like unintentional ASMR, which is kind of my favorite. Um, oh, shoot. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Pretty creepy story. If I remember it, I guess I'll tell my audience. But yeah, I, I don't I, know whether to contact her and tell her if she needs to increase her privacy settings or what. But do you, I mean, so I guess, how would you contact her though? You didn't. Through Facebook, I could friend her. Oh, because you remember her name. Well, it popped up. Yeah. On my friend's suggestion with her picture and everything. But and her profile information. I wonder how her date's going though. I hope it's going well. Yeah, because she she gets free Hollywood Bowl tickets from this dude. I wonder if I work with that guy. Anyway, <laughs> it's weird. I don't know. Oh well, there you go. Yeah, we shall see. I told her we should get a couple of Mark Smith Oh yeah, Hollywood Bowl tickets is a classy thing. There's the Captain Steubing director, Captain Steubing Murray. And you notice that the first violinist look like uh, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got all the celebs in the orchestra yeah, tonight, and folks. The soloist was the lady in red. She yeah, it does, but I don't yeah, she kind of looked like this girl who was on Dancing with the Stars once, but I can't remember her name. Anyway, um, that's a really creepy story. Fascinating. Really fascinating how just the world weird. thrives on uh, algorithms. Social media. Yeah. I know. Well, anyway. I'm not good. Anyway, not good, but there's a cute fish or purple water droplet that we will focus on until the end of this video. So cute!